Hey guys, Nick here, and it is time for another new vinyl roundup. This week we got some pretty big releases. Starting off right here with the George Thur George Thur George Harrison All Things Must Pass 50th Anniversary Box. And if you haven't heard about it, it's been everywhere, all over the place. Uh, there's four editions. So there is the Ultra Edition in a big wood box with figures for a thousand or twelve hundred dollars, I believe it is. Um, we can get those. We can order those. We did not bring one in, uh, but if you are interested in one, we can still get you one. Uh, we do on hand have the 8LP, the 5LP, and the 3LP. We're going to kind of walk through those first. So this is the Super Deluxe. Uh, it is a new mix by Paul Hicks. Uh, and from what I've heard, they sound incredible. I've already had people buy them, already listened to them, and already tell me that these are definitely worth owning. As you can see on the back, it is an 8LP celebrating the 50th anniversary of Harrison's All Things Must Pass, original 3LP plus five LPs of demos, session outtakes, jams recorded during the making of All Things Must Pass. Set includes replica of the original album packaging with poster, 60 page book, um, unreleased photographs and material. And you can see it's got, there's the original box here, the demos, and it's got the book right here. Very cool set, $200. Seems pretty darn fair for what you get in an eight LP box. I, I feel that's a pretty good price uh, segueing into the 5LP set, which is obviously just, uh, this is the session outtakes and jams. Um, new mix by Paul Hicks, 5LP heavyweight featuring previously unreleased studio outtakes and demos. So I believe this is the other five records. So these two separately combined to make the box. So this is the, the outtakes. And this is the three LP set is just the regular um, three LP box, like the way it originally came out. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I have to say that the three LP box, the original, just the regular three LP box is cheaper than the last pressing we had. The last pressing we had of this was 70 and they lowered it down to $66. So that's, I think that's pretty incredible. For something this day and age to see a price go down on uh, a milestone LP like All Things Must Pass, that's pretty special. Um, I'm going to have to look this up. I think the 5 LP is just that everything else. No, it, no, it says All Things Must Pass and Shuts and Outtakes and James. So it must be, it must be three, four, five. Okay, I got it. I was wrong. So it's All Things Must Pass, which is the first three records. And then the session outtakes and jams, which is on the back of here, is two albums. Because the other LPs are demos. So you're getting the regular three LP and then the, the outtakes and jams. So that's what the five LPs. And it even says your sessions and jams. So all right, I broke it. I figured it out, guys. So if you don't want all the demos, is essentially what you're missing out on. You don't need the you don't need the demos then you don't need the mega box to save a few bucks i think it's what 91 dollars for the 5 lp so that even that's priced pretty good all right here's one that sold really fast to us wholesalers i got an email i tried to order a bunch and i if in, in like 20 minutes they were gone i happened to grab a couple of this rage against the machine live and rare um 27 i'm sure these are all gone everywhere because they were so allotted um, it is a 2LP set. It's $27. If you're a Rage fan, probably worth picking up. Probably going to be hard to find for a little while. AFI Bodies. Black, gray, and silver vinyl. $26 single LP set. Eve Scorpion. Here's one I haven't had in quite some time. $28 on Rough Rider Records. And the East Coast stuff. Urban Legends series. Willie Nelson, make way for Willie Nelson, Blue Swirl Vinyl. It's a Friday music record. I even like it back here. It says, what is a Willie Nelson? <laughs> I love that art. Uh, 35 bucks. White denim, for those of you who like the 70s kind of throwback rock stuff that's coming out. Crystal bullets backed with 
King Tears, limited red and blue vinyl, $21. I think it's just a uh, two song kind of limited EP thing. LA Guns, cocked and loaded, live, $31, two OP set. Very cool. Don't get much LA Guns in the store. Night Ranger, it is ATBPO, $27. And the band play it on. It's what it stands for, ATBPO. I hate God, black vinyl. We've had this in the store a few times. Twenty-four dollars. Restocking that. All right, here's a new, here's a new uh, record with a sticker that stuck to the front of this one here. Stickers sometimes get everywhere. There we go. Sonny Clark, my conception. Uh, Tone Poet series, thirty-six dollars. All our Tone Poets sell very, very well. Master from your original analog tapes. If you're collecting them, be sure to grab those, scoop those up. There's another one in here too, we'll get to that. OMD Universal, $27. 180 gram black vinyl, remastered at Abbey Road Studios. Includes download card. Another OMD record. Liberator, same price, $27, single LP. Here's the other Tone Poet. Koi Tyner, Expansions, Tone Poet, $36, remastered from the original analog tapes. Here's a new Drive-By Truckers, $37, Plan 9 Records, July 13th, 2006. It is a three LP set, it's only $37. The Franz Ferdinand record that was such a huge, huge hit. Uh... $23, Domino Records, it's cheap. Finally back on vinyl here. I don't know, 2005, that's, it's getting back there. The Fallen, Do You Want To, This Boy, Walk Away, Evil and the Heathen, You're the Reason I'm Leaving, Eleanor Put You in Boots On. There it is, very cool. Best of Loggins and Messina, Friday Music, $35. HQ, 180 gram vinyl. Dark Throne, Death Metal Dan, pick this one up, guys. 26 bucks. Eternal Hails, the new studio album, Five Heavy Dinosaurs, looking in wonder and bewilderment at the stars. What do we got here? Cub Scout Bowling Pins, Clang Clang Ho, $23. Newer records in here. Frankie and Witch Fingers, $25. They've been killing it with uh, Record Store Day records lately. $25. Sidewalk is the first full-length album from Frankie and the Witch Fingers, originally released on cassette in 2013, then released on vinyl in 17 by Permanent Records. Now totally remastered, repackaged, and reimagined by Greenway Records. The Witch Fingers' most fuzzed-out bubblegum nightmare looks to sound even better than ever. Limited edition, clear vinyl. Jackson Brown, new one. Downhill from everywhere. Cool kind of an image there. $29, two OP set. Take that. Shine Down. We've been getting all the Shine Down records. Limited edition rustic green vinyl. $31. Right on there. Queen Night of the Opera. $23. Bucks. Just, just a restock. I had a lot of people looking out for this new Clario Sling record. $31. I got just a couple of them back in, but they go fast. Billy Eilish, still getting the Eilish. I think we're out of the brown, but we got the black vinyl. $36. This is Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon 2, The Legend of Mr. Rager. $29. Savoy Brown's got a new one, Bring It Home. Limited edition red vinyl, $28. Let There Be Rock, $23. Just a nice vinyl reissue. Steely Dan Asia, $36. Hard to find, getting really hard to find Steely Dan records. So happy to see those come back out. One of my best sellers, Etta James at last, $21. I blow through these like crazy. Happy to get another batch of them in. Uh, in Rainbows by Radiohead, $26, single LP. And last but not least, ZZ Top Going 50 Limited Edition 5 LP Box. 
five decades of their hits. It's a hundred dollars. It's got gold foil on it. These I acted quick enough. I was able to grab a few up, but they went pretty fast. So going 50, the, uh, a nice box that kind of is the whole, a career spanning five decades of hits. So, all right, guys, that's what we got this week. I know I'm going to get a ton of people asking, did I get any Jeff Beck Mofis? I did. I am sold out of them. They went, my pre-order line was crazy. In store, people were scarfing them up. So they are gone. Um, what else is going on? Yeah, we still have, we do have the limited edition poster that comes with any purchase of any of the All Things Must Pass, as long as supplies last on that. Uh, and we got 815 Day, any of the Rockford locals. Uh, for those of you who don't know, 815 is our area code in the Rockford area. So obviously August 15th becomes a holiday locally. So uh, if you're around, come stop by, say hi. If not, we'll uh, ship records out to you just like we always do. So until next time, guys, see you later.